What's up guys, SJC back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Today is Monday, so we get some new positional sets. There's the kicker punter set and the right tackle set. So we'll go check out the sets. Um, I didn't see any t cards that were going for too much. There's the ESPN, but we'll check that out in a second. There's 51 cards in the kicker punter set. Um, or, yeah, and I mean, you have all these football outsiders. There's probably one or two that go for above 20k, but I know the Stephen Harsh guy I have, I just looked, goes for like 5k. Uh, none of these other ones really go for too much. Josh Scobie might. I know his base went for a ton. All right, so his road to the playoffs isn't a ton right now. Uh, we'll see if they put him in for his base. And it doesn't look like they did, so you might be able to get away with this one without it being too expensive. If you want that 99 overall, <laughs> Sebastian Janikowski for kicker and Johnny Hecker from the Rams for punter. Um, right tackle position, uh, 50 cards. Um, again, none of these looked like they were too expensive. I looked all at all the ones I had, and none of the uh, other cards look like they're too bad. Maybe like Sebastian Vollmer, I guess. We'll check him right now. He now he's still really cheap. And uh, then this Andre Smith might be because it's the high overall base. Nope, 10k, 8k right there. I saw. Um, so none of these are really going for too much, actually. So if you are in need of a cheap 99, these are pretty easy to get. Uh, and then you just need the two elite badges. Um, that's for a Ricky Wagner from the Ravens. So we'll go ahead and check out their cards, and then I am going to open up a 7-pack bundle. I'm hoping to be able to make it back over a mil. I haven't really pulled too much recently. i got to start doing that. Uh, or I gotta start uh, pulling decent stuff so I can make all these coins back. I do have a ton of cards to actually sell though, so that's good. Position heroes though, we have, yeah, they're already cheap. So we have Johnny Hacker under 200k already, 99 overall punter, 97 kick power, 100 kick accuracy. Um, everything else is really crappy. You don't really need anything other than that. Uh, the kicker might go for a little more because he is a pretty decent. He's, like, the best kicker that we've had in our generation. Here's Ricky Wagner, 99 overall right tackle, two, a little over 250K, 95 strength, 95 impact, 98 run block, and 94 pass block are really good stats. 80 speed's a little low. Uh, 88 acceleration's good. Uh, he gave up only two sacks and over 900 snaps while boasting a 4.84 yard per carry average for running backs running to the right. So that's a pretty good card. Um... I don't know how he compares to the Deerdorf, because, I mean, I don't know how I, how I would be able to compare him to the Deerdorf, but uh, I'd probably go with whichever one's cheaper. Like, the difference probably isn't that great. So we're getting down, almost down to 900k. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a huge pack opening. Uh, I'm only going to do it on Saturdays from now on until I finish them up master, because I really, I think I'm going to need a lot of coins for that as we get Michael Roos in this pack. Um... Because, I mean, elite badges are ridiculous right now. Like, it's, the last I checked, it was above 50k for an elite badge. So, um, I need all the coins I can get to do that. As, what's our gold gonna be? We got Will Hill and Delone Carter is a silver. Next pro pack. I don't know which one we're on. We're just gonna go straight through backwards. Mike Harris, Daniel Heron, and we got Tremont Williams. That's not too bad. Um, again, just not really pulling anything great. An elite would be nice. There's Josh Hill, tight end for the uh, Saints. We're going backwards through this one as well. Mike Brizil, so just not pulling anything at all. We have at least one more. Yep, and one more after this. So we got <sighs> 82 overall middle linebacker Paul Puzlozny. He might go for something in the middle linebacker set. We got Chris Borland as well and Albert Mack, but... This is just a terrible pack opening. We do still have one more after this, though. So we get Brian Leonard right there. Mario Addison might go for a little bit. And who is that? Alfonso Denard. This is probably our last pro pack. Let's clutch it out with an elite. I really need some coins. Copy, okay.
it's going to take a lot of effort to get back up to a million. Well, not too bad, but decent amount of effort. Um, I'm only down, what, 85k right now? I could sell some cards that I have and make that back. Definitely a lot of effort, though. And Okay, there we go. 89 overall to Rel Revis. Nice pull right there. Uh, finish it off with an elite last card that we pulled. Man defense, uh, 91 speed, 94 man, 91 zone. Very good coverage stats. 89 press, 88 play rec, uh, 92 agility, 84 awareness, and 92 acceleration. He's only 5'11", though, which is my only like problem with him. Uh, let's see. Let's compare him to my other corners. He's He'll be my second corner if I decide to keep him, uh, which I think I might because his price probably isn't too, too high. But, yeah, he's he stacks up pretty well against Kyle Fuller. He's probably better than... Oh, actually, Banks stacks up pretty well, too, because he's taller. So we'll see. We'll see where we go with it. But, uh, oh, let's check his catching real quick, because that's always important. 63 catching, so pretty bad. Um, yeah, but we did finish it off with an elite pull. An elite pull is an elite pull, so that's good. Uh, thanks for watching, though, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Really helps out the channel. We have hit the 250, uh, 250 subscriber mark, so I will be live streaming this weekend, opening packs, playing you guys, um, giving away some cards. Definitely, probably about 100k worth of cards throughout the weekend. Um, so, going over to SJC uh, SJC625 on Twitch and follow me so you guys can see when I'm streaming. Also, go over to Twitter, follow me at SJ. I'm going to post updates uh, for when I post things and stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.